god. The last time I filmed anything on this channel, my hair was really short. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed a video in, let me look at my channel, almost three months. Basically, I took the entire summer off. You probably can't even tell from my last video, but I was extremely burnt out. I was so tired and I just wasn't really myself anymore at that point and I basically took a break from like everything. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what else to say. That's just my excuse for why I've been gone for so long. Really just because I wasn't feeling like myself and I don't want to pretend and make like happy content on my channel if like I'm not in the best mood or if I'm not genuinely happy because that's what my channel is. It's a place where I just film whatever I want and it's like a happy space, you know? It's my, my happy place. And it just wasn't feeling like that for me and it wasn't YouTube in general, it was just like life bits in general. Basically, I was working 40 hours a week on top of it, working on my business trying to do YouTube, trying to maintain, you know, a home, a relationship. It's my dogs, like it's a lot. It's a lot for one person to handle like all at once. So I just had to like take time off from everything, reprioritize like what's important in life and now I'm back. My YouTube channel isn't gonna go anywhere. I love this so much. It really is like my first baby and it is the reason I'm able to do things that I can today. We're back at it again, we're sharing life. I have been focusing recently on just like my business. If you guys are new to this channel, I have a small business called Iris and Indy. I sell home decor clothing and I'm adding ceramics. The last couple of months prior to me taking a break, I was sharing with you guys like my ceramic journey. During quarantine, I really got into hand building ceramics and pottery. I took classes when things started opening up and now I'm days away from launching like my first ceramic launch on, in my store. So really, really excited about that. Um, everybody who's been following me there on my Instagram page has been just so supportive and amazing. So if you guys wanna see any of that stuff, make sure to go follow along there. Um, I would really appreciate the support. And yeah, today we're just gonna continue with that. I just got my last batch of ceramics back from their last firing. So I need to start taking some photos of those things and I also need to continue glazing some of the last final bits and like pieces that I have left. It's taken so long because I'm using like a studio kiln in order to fire my pieces. It's not like my own personal like kiln. Kilns are very expensive. I'm currently in the process of trying to save up for one. But yeah, so since you're sharing it with everyone else, it's your pieces get fired when they get fired and you kind of just have to wait. It's a little bit of a waiting game. They are pretty quick on it, which is nice, but it does take time. So really happy to finally get this first batch out and I'm already working on, you know, the second one for the autumn season. So that is super exciting. But yeah, I'm just gonna, take you guys upstairs in the studio and we're gonna start shooting some pictures, shooting some content. I wanna create a reel today and then get like photos of all of the mugs separately for the website. I'm gonna bring my coffee up and we're gonna get some work done. Because you guys haven't been up to date the last three months, I moved my studio upstairs. It's no longer in my basement. I did have it in the basement for a little bit, but I found it really hard and troublesome and just completely inconvenient to be running up and down the stairs. So this is just a little swoop around of the new studio space. It's not completely finished yet, um, so once it is, I will give you guys like a full detailed tour of my new office space for the store. But it works for now. It's super cute still in my eyes. I love being in this room. I'm in this room like every single day for multiple hours a day. Um, and yeah, I basically live in this room now, so. Don't mind any messes, but these are currently 
all of the ceramics that are ready for drop one. I'm so excited to surround like all of the pieces. Super, super cute. I'm so proud of all of them. They just match my personality and my store so well. And yeah, I'm like super excited to share these with you guys. I could not be prouder of my little ceramics. Who knew during quarantine that I would fall in love with doing something so much. It's unreal. It literally feels like a dream come true. So sorry if you guys hear squeaking too. That's my floor. This is a very old house. I can't control the squeaking on the floor. I'm sorry. As mentioned today, I also need to finish some of these pieces. One of them is actually just for me. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I made this one in a reel. And this one's gonna be for me. And uh, the little post-it notes are basically notes telling me what to draw on every single one of them. Currently gonna put you right there for now. Because I know I'm gonna get a couple of questions on what I'm wearing today. This is a lounge set from the Lullaby Club. I have them in multiple colors. I am currently gonna start painting some of these. My goal is to get them in their kiln for their last firing by tomorrow. Um, that way they're ready by Saturday because Saturday is gonna be my first launch. I have a couple mugs that I'm gonna do like orange and pink stripes. And then for these, for three of these and then the plate, I'm gonna do my signature coral flower with the orange like center. Um, that one has been my most popular and most responsive like photo content that I've been sharing. So I wanna make a few of those, that way a couple of customers can just like have the option to get it and it doesn't sell out too fast. And then I have another one of this. And for this one, I think I'm just gonna do like a baby blue gingham in the inside. I think that would look really cute. like my window mount because I think it's about to rain and it's getting really dark in the office right now. I don't really have like the best lighting in here but I'm working with what I got so I have you on the window right now. I finished glazing majority of the mugs and plates. I have um, about five more to go so I'm just taking a little break from that. I also answered a couple of emails and did a reel and now I'm gonna take a break and kind of start thinking about like how I want to take some of the photos for my mugs. These are the photos that are going to be on the website as well as like Instagram photos. So I'm going to be just taking some like single shot items of the mugs. Also, I think I'm losing my voice. I don't know if it's because I haven't spoken to a camera in so long or if it's because I haven't really talked at all recently. <laughs> because I'm home just like working by myself. But I think I'm losing my voice. Here are some of the pieces that I just finished. So I made this plate and this really pretty like flower pattern. A couple of pink and orange striped mugs. I really like these. I think that they're really, really cute. Those are gonna be really nice. And then I made another one of the floral mugs. This is cute because it kind of matches the plate. And then this is the mug that I made for myself. So I made it with like the flowers in like a coral color and then like a baby blue in the inside. So I think that that's gonna look really cute. And yeah, I'm super excited for that one. Currently taking some photos. This is a little setup I just did. So I have my little like art shelf. And then inside I have two books, three of the mugs, and then this little dish here. So I am now in my kitchen area. I'm kind of in the dining room area. And I brought all of the mugs down. This isn't even like half of it, but it's 
the majority of the items and I'm gonna be taking photos against this wall. My office is just way too dark. I started taking some photos in there and the sun just does not hit the same in that room as it does in the rest of this house. So, brought everything down. I also have like this fabric that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's just like a linen, really pretty gingham print. And I think I'm gonna lay it flat on here and then use the white wall as like a backdrop. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. I also think maybe taking some photos in the kitchen, like around the kitchen. Cause I mean, she's a really cute kitchen. Um, would be nice so that I can get some good quality content for these guys. And yeah, basically I'm gonna take photos until the sun goes down or the camera dies or I'm happy with the photos that I took. Happy Thursday. It has been two days since I started this video and I am just finishing it up now. Currently in the process of almost editing it, I realized I didn't do an ending towards the video, so this is that. Just got ready for the day, just waiting for my hair to air dry, and then I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit more work as well as filming a, another video today, so stay tuned for that one. That one's really exciting. It's actually a thrift haul. So yeah, I am just here at the table editing this video. The photos came out so great. I'm really, really happy with the way that they look. I already started posting a lot of them on my Instagram Shop Iris and Indie page. So if you guys want to check them out, you can go on over and head there to see them. If you want to wait till Saturday and then just wait to see all of the products and all of the photos on the website, you can do that too. That would mean so much to me. But yeah, I basically took photos for over 32 to 35 items. It was over like 160 images that I chose and edited. So that's why there was a little null in the vlog where I didn't really say or talk or anything. It's because I was so focused the last 48 hours on just taking all the photos, editing them, and getting them ready to put on the website. So all of that is done. All I have to do now is like determine their prices, measure everything out, and then add their little item description details. That takes some time, so that's gonna take a majority of my day today. So I'm gonna get to work on that and I'm gonna get this video posted pronto. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you would like more like it. Subscribe if you aren't already and if you guys wanna give any kind of support whatsoever, following me on the Instagram page, Pinterest, TikTok, whatever it is, would mean the absolute world to me. That really does help my business out so much just by following and sharing my content. Speaking of Instagram, I'm gonna give this video like a week on the internet before I go ahead and announce that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I think I'm gonna be giving away a mug. I'll make like one specific special mug this week. That way that can be like the great giveaway item. Um, so if you guys want to enter for that, make sure that you follow me on Instagram because that is usually where I do all of my giveaways. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will catch you guys again in the next vlog. Bye.